this video, we're going to continue our discussion dealing with inverses. So I want to determine what the inverse of matrix C is going to be. Now, if you recall setting up the inverse, the original matrix is on the left and it's two by two identity is to the right. So now I want to do row operations to get it to look like RREF. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take the negative two times row one plus row two is a new row two. Remember, I want this two here to be a zero. So doing the row operations, we get this. So now I want to write the matrix. Again, row one hasn't changed. Now, notice row two, though. You've got two zeros, but then you have non-zero numbers here and here. That tells me there is no inverse for this matrix. Remember, just because I am a square matrix does not necessarily mean it has an inverse. So in this case, it is a singular matrix. All right, so now the rest of this video is going to talk about solving matrix equations using inverses. So we know that we have the matrix A times the X column is equal to the answer column, which is B. If I take the inverse of A to both sides, we know that the inverse of A times A is the identity matrix, so it's X by itself, and that equals A inverse times the column matrix B. So if I want to solve an equation for X or a system of equations here, if I take the inverse and multiply by the B, which is the answer column matrix, I should get my solution to the system. All right, so I want to solve each system of equations using matrix algebra, and in other words, with the inverse. Right? Well, in order for me to do that, I first want to change this. So I know A is this. And I know B, the answer column matrix, is this. Okay. So for now, I'm not going to do anything with B. Okay. So I'm going to reuse A to determine its inverse. Okay. So I need this 2 to be a 0. So I'll take negative 2 times row 1 plus row 2 is going to be my new row 2. So doing the row operations, we get these particular values, which I have put into row two. Now, I need to get rid of this negative five and make that a one. So I'm going to take the second row and multiply by negative one fifth. So doing the row operation, I have my new row two then. So now the last part is I need to take the opposite of row two and add it to row one. That's going to be my new row one. Because remember, I need to get rid of this one and make that a zero. So doing the row operation for this, I have my new first row, which means a inverse is equal to this. Okay. So now to get my solution for this, I remember, x is equal to a inverse times b. Well, we now know what a inverse is. Now, b originally in this problem is 112. So now all I need to do at this particular stage is do matrix multiplication. Okay. So I will take this first row and multiply by that, that column. And now take this and multiply by this. Okay. So simplify. That's 15 fifths, which is 3. And that is going to be negative 2. Okay. So my solution for this will end up being 3 and negative 2. And again, that's very, very easy to check. 3 plus a negative 2 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 3 and negative 2 is 6. And 6 plus 6 is 12. So this is a solution to the system. OK, so now let's go to the next problem then. So now I have a 3 by 3 system. So. The first thing I would like to do for this is to write out what A is. So A is 
write out what B is, because we will use B later on in this problem. Okay. All right, so we need to determine what A inverse is going to be for us. So write it out. And then next to it is a 3 by 3. Okay, so first of all, from this particular stage, I need to get this 3 to be a 0. So I'll use row 1. So negative 3R1 plus R2 is going to be my new row 2. So doing the row operations, we now have our new row 2. Now, this 3 needs to be a 1. So what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply the second row by one-third. Okay, so doing that work, we get the new row two. So now this negative one needs to be a zero, and this five needs to be a zero. So I'm going to use row two. So I'll take, what, R2 plus R1 is going to be my new row 1, and I'm going to take negative 5 R2 plus R3 is my new row 3. So do, doing the row operations, we get our new matrix here. So the first two columns are done. Now, I need this 11 thirds to be a 1. So what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply the entire third row by 3 11 Because when I take 11 thirds times 3 11 that gives me 1. All right, so the calculations are shown here. So now, remember, I need this negative one-third and this negative one-third to be a positive one-third. So what am I going to do? Using row three, it'll be one-third row three plus row one is my new row one. And I'm going to do one-third row three plus row two is going to be my new row two. So the calculations are shown here. So now we have an RREF. So now we know that a inverse is equal to this three by three matrix. Okay, so now the last part for this then is to do x equal to a inverse times b. Well, you now know what a inverse is. And now you know what b is. Okay. So now I'm just going to multiply. So doing the multiplication, we get this. So our solution to this is 1, 2, and negative 3. Now that's very, very easy to plug into all three original equations, and they do work. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 3 times 1 is 3 minus a negative 3. That's plus 3. That's 6. And 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 times negative 3. That's negative 6. So 10 minus 6 is 4.